we know from the photoelectric effect that light can be treated as a stream of particles and we know that we can calculate the energy of those particles of light known as photons either by, by knowing the frequency or by knowing the wavelength of that light. We also know that white light is essentially just a mixture of all of the different colors or all of the different wavelengths or all of the different frequencies which essentially says that when white light is passed through a prism we would be given a continuous spectrum and the continuous spectrum would look something like this where we can see that as the wavelength changes the color of light changes and the frequency also changes. Now we know that it's possible for electrons to absorb photons of light and we also know that different substances have different energy levels or different energies for their energy levels. So what I've got here is a very simplified idea of white light that is emitting a continuous spectrum of energies. I've just got one to eight joules here and it is going to pass through two different gases. The first one has its first energy level with an energy of one joule and you can see the energies there and we know that the photons with a correct amount of energy will be absorbed. So what we can see here is that a transition from the first to the second energy level would require one joule of energy. A transition from the first to the third energy level would require four joules of energy. A transition from the first to the fourth energy level would then require eight joules of energy. We know it's also possible for transitions from the second to the third, which would require three joules of energy, and the second to the fifth, which would require seven joules of energy. And the last transition that is possible here would be a transition from the third to the fourth energy level, which would require four joules of energy. So what that tells us is if we shine a continuous spectrum of light through this gas, what we will find is that those specific energies will be absorbed. So the one joule photon will be absorbed as it passes through. The three joule photon will also be absorbed and allow that electron to transition into a higher state. The four joule photon will be absorbed, the seven joule photon will be absorbed, and the eight joule photon will be absorbed. So the light that we see emerging from the other side is now missing a number of energies and so we see only a part of that spectrum emerging because part of the spectrum has been absorbed out of that light. So now what we can see here is that if that same white light, the continuous spectrum, is passed through a different gas because the energy levels are unique we would absorb different photons of energy. So in this case the three joule photon is absorbed, the five joule photon is absorbed, the six joule photon is absorbed, the eight joule photon is absorbed, and so our spectrum that comes out the other side has different energies missing from it, and this allows us to identify different types of gases based on the absorption spectrum. So the spectrum that comes out of the other side is called an absorption spectrum because it started with a continuous spectrum and then had certain frequencies or certain wavelengths absorbed or removed from it by electrons transitioning into a higher state which left only other energies to go through and gives a unique absorption spectrum for each different element where a typical absorption spectrum would look something like this you can see most of the spectrum is preserved, most of the continuous spectrum, but there are dark lines where those specific frequencies have been removed or absorbed out of the light spectrum. You'll also see that there are a large number of lines removed here. That is because there are many possible transitions in any element, and I have only shown for the first four energy levels. So once again, an absorption spectrum is formed when a white light with a continuous spectrum is shone through a cold gas. That gas then allows the photons of energy that allow specific energy level transitions to be absorbed out 
And then the light that we see coming out of the other side is an absorption spectrum because only the necessary frequencies have been removed from that spectrum.